The difference between Super Slide where you hold your shield up and when you don't. This... Nice. This is a regular Super Slide. This, you have no control over your angle, you're just going in a straight line. But, you can also hold your shield up through cutscenes and Super Slide through cutscenes. With a Hess, like this, you obviously have much more control. But if you ever hit a cutscene or something, then your Hess immediately ends. Is this run going to be a world record? There's a 50% chance that this will be a world record. It either is or it isn't. Can you go from a Hess to an ass chest? Uh, actually no, because when you're in a Hess state, you are unable to do A button actions. So you would have to cancel the Hess first and then press A to open ass chest. If I have a 50% chance to world record 100%, do I have a 100% chance to world record 50%? <clears throat> uh, I think so, yes, because, I mean, no one has done a 50% run. So, I mean, the first time I do a 50% run would be record, so yes, that logic works out. Flawless logic. I was actually planning on doing a meme run of 50% a long time ago, and we started routing it, and it was really bad. <laughs> Like, I was thinking, oh, this will be a fun little thing to do as a meme. And I started routing it with Moo, and we realized early on that, like, it was going to be such a terrible run. And so we stopped. I think the way we defined it was, like, 18 heart pieces, 4 heart containers, beat 4 dungeons, 50 gold skulltulas. Every upgrade that has 2 upgrades, you just get the middle upgrade. I forgot what we did with equipment. But we actually like came up with a terrible definition. We like thought about the definition, at least. No, see, you think it's fun. It's not. We tried routing it and it turned out awful. I forgot the specifics of it, but it was not fun at all. Really. Opinion on the new Pokemon. It looks like... A crossover between Sun and Moon and Pokemon Go. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it is really just like a straight Gen 1 remake and they don't overdo it with the Pokemon Go stuff, it might be okay. Also, apparently you can't evolve your starter in it, which means that if you get the Eevee version, you will get an Eevee as a starter and you will not be able to do anything with it. Fantastic idea. I love getting the Pokemon that was intended to be, you know, intended to be able to evolve into many different Pokemon and not being able to evolve it at all. Like, I kind of get Pikachu, but why would you force Eevee not to evolve? What is the point? The big issue with Sun and Moon is that it was so cutscene heavy and so handholdy. Like, you could hardly play the game at some points. Like, the actual Pokemon part of Sun and Moon was, you know, regular old Pokemon. Nothing too special, nothing too bad. But the rest of the game just kind of sucked. And it tried to put in, like, a bunch of new features that no one cared about. And then, like, this new Pokemon thing... I mean, it does look like it is an actual Pokemon game. Like, it's not using the dumb Pokemon Go stats or whatever. But it looks like it's, it definitely looks like it's just Sun and Moon Engine. They're, they're just porting Sun and Moon Engine over to Switch. And then making a Gen 1 remake out of it. Which, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. But, I don't know. Can you actually not battle wild Pokemon? Because I wasn't sure if that's just something they showed in the trailer of, like, how to catch Pokemon. Or if there's actually, they actually confirmed there's no Pokemon wild battle, wild Pokemon battling. If there's actually no wild Pokemon battling, then that's pretty awful. You can only throw bombs balls at them that's confirmed officially. That is terrible. Yeah, I remember in the trailer there were parts where, like, the character was walking around in the overworld and there were Pokemon sprites on the ground and you walk into one to trigger what is now not a battle. And I wasn't sure if, like, that was the only way you could actually encounter Pokemon. But if that's actually the only way you can encounter Pokemon and you can't even battle them, then wow. Apparently, along with that announcement, they also said that the next main series Pokemon game is supposed to come out next year. 
and they just didn't talk about it. So, I mean, hopefully that's not trash. Yeah, I think as long as the let's go thing isn't taking away from Gen 8, then I think it's fine. It's just like a spinoff, I guess. Whatever. I probably won't care about it. Well, I don't know. I might be lured into getting it anyway. Probably not. I should... I should boycott it. I don't know. I'll see what happens when it comes out. But I can't say I'm super excited about it. Yes, kids still buy Pokemon games. It is still very big with kids. Interesting. Wow, I can't believe... I would have had an amazing bottle time if I didn't fall. I was sure I was going to reset anyway, and then I didn't have to. Pokemon Let's Go didn't look too bad when I first saw it, and then I heard you couldn't evolve the starters, and then I heard there's no wild Pokemon battles, and now it sounds dumb. That's what I heard, apparently. Is that you can't evolve the starters. I mean, it might be false. I hope I, I hope it's false. I hope I read it from a bad source, but I read it like two or three different places or two or three like different tweets about it. I know it's so stupid, right? Like I kind of understand not evolving Pikachu and stuff, but like if there's an Eevee version, are they really gonna give me an Eevee that I can't evolve? What is the point of an Eevee that can't evolve? It is confirmed. Great. Like I kind of get the concept of not evolving starters, but when it's with Eevee, it should not be with Eevee. Like, Eevee's entire gimmick is evolving. Really. Sounds bad. Wow. Guess I'm keeping the run alive. If you do perfect side hops, never landing on the ground for more than a frame, then they can't catch you. It's obviously super risky, but the run was so bad that I decided to risk it, and it paid off, I guess. Where we get sponsorship offers for individual speedruns? Not individual speedruns, but I have gotten people DMing me for like, Hey, will you play this game on stream? And I'm like, no, I don't care. I don't care about your game. Your game is an OOT. Do I actually reply? No, actually. I just kinda... I, I assume they're like partially automated messages, so I don't bother replying. I hope I'm not being rude. I'm sorry if I'm being rude to people that want me to play their game, but don't. but I don't want to. I've been meaning to play SM64 OOT. Uh, I'll get to it at some point. Please play a little indie game Fortnite. Uh, no. Oh, is it true that SM64 OOT patched um, BLJ? Yes, dead game. Got the crit wiggle. I have no idea why Crit Wiggle is a thing, but we know at the very least that it was intentionally programmed in and it is not an accident. Why? Who knows? Okay, so for those who don't know what Crit Wiggle is, so when you have one heart or less, then every 256 frames, the game will randomly input a control stick input between 0 and 59 degrees. Why? Who knows? If you're idle, then nothing happens. It only happens when you're moving. I think. I'm actually not sure if it's an OG 3D. Possibly supposed to simulate a limp because you're injured? <laughs> if that is the reason for it, then... Nintendo is thinking like 20 years ahead and is dumb. <laughs> is O here in the new games? In... <laughs> In Sun and Moon, there's Alolan Oak. He's literally Oak, but with a tan. Congrats on the 100 followers. Thanks, Pendalink. Uh, I'm really happy to have 100 followers.
He's dead. Keepo is banned because it's a bad emote. I think it looks ugly. Cool Cat's banned also because it's a bad emote. Because I hate when people spam Cool Cat. It's like the worst emote spam. Ming Lee is just flat out the worst emote on Twitch. I definitely am not a fan of cats. I'm gonna try to lose subs like that. <laughs> I don't care, man. I'll lose the cat subs, but I'll get the dog dog subs. I should love all living things. What about spiders? Should I love spiders? Not all living things are worth loving? Exactly. What about flamingos? There's nothing wrong with flamingos. Stupid long birds. <laughs> what happened? Everyone made fun of me for saying root. So I started saying route, because that's what everyone else was saying. I got peer pressured into saying route instead of root. I got bullied. Root is correct English. But it sounds weird. Now it sounds weird to me. Now I think that I have to say it as route. Do I hate memes? Yes. Death to memes. Yes, this run is guaranteed to PB. 100%. You're going to cheer a million bits, but anime girl cheering is disabled. Oh. Dang. Do I ever consider making my name not a smiley face? There used to be a time where occasionally I would make it a frowny face instead if I had bad runs, but I don't do that anymore. Do I think I'll be good at OOT when I'm 70 just because of the amount of time I've put into it? Yeah, totally. When I'm 70, I'm going to be in the OOT retirement home, still playing bingo with Runner Guy. Yeah, that's why I don't do bingo. I'm waiting to retire. Runner Guy's already retired, so he's already in the OOT retirement home playing bingo. I've got a few years left. I don't have to retire yet. Cool. Dude, I can't... I couldn't press R. Uh, what is happening? I don't know what happened. I couldn't shield the bomb chew. And runs over. Dang. I'm supposed to get two Decanaut upgrades there, but instead I bought arrows twice. That's what happens if you are in the wrong spot. And now I can never get the Decanaut upgrade. It is gone forever. Alright, I'm not going to fail this this time. Maybe. Alright, I got it. I did it. Didn't have any issues. Oh no. That was a close one. Didn't want a repeat of the other day. Uh oh. Uh, runs over. That's an interesting way. Wait, can I do this with fish actually? I might be able to save this with fish. I'm not 100% sure. I have never not recaught the bugs back there. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I'll see what I can do with this. This is going to be very awkward. Or that can happen. Can't use another arrow. I can't one cycle him. Fantastic run. Don't worry, I'll take care of the fairy. I have the fairy covered. Actually, my fish is going to be in a weird bottle because of this. This will be weird. Don't fall down. Okay. Alright, so I just deleted my fairy with that. Fairy's gone.
Now the weird thing is I have a fish on on bottle three, which is weird. So I generally want it in bottle two. Oh, this is gonna cause issues with RBA actually. Uh, I think I I can do this. It's just gonna be really weird. Okay, so I'm gonna have to drop and catch this fish on B. Put fish back in my inventory. And then I need to... Oh, this actually solves a few problems, actually. I can do this. Then I need to... Ah, oh, wait. Um, this isn't going to give me enough uh, sticks, actually. Never mind. I wanted to dump the fish and then catch it in a real bottle. But I'm going to have to do... Ah, uh, wait. What do I want to do here? Dump it on this. And then... Okay, this is bottle two, so this is fine. And then... Ocarina... Okay. So now I need to catch bugs in the Song of Storms Grotto in Hyrule Castle that I'm going to right now, and then everything should converge back to the route it's supposed to be. How's the speedrun day been? Pretty bad. Remember how I said I couldn't fail and I should actually fall in the lava. I think falling in the lava is actually the strat here. I can't fall in the lava. So remember when I said I didn't have any room to fail anything with bombs? Wow. It's ogre. Yeah, so that's that's the end of the run. Sorry guys.